Hey, my beautifuls, how are you? I just noticed that my hair is totes sticking out of the bun in a very weird way. Uh, how are you guys? How have you been? How, how are things holding up? How is your Monday? Is it dreadful? Is it good? Is it great? Are you well rested? Um, so today, um, before I get started, I did want to introduce myself uh, for those of you who don't know me. I'm Carly Myers. I am the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I basically do is I help women who are unhappy at work get their mojo back and make adulting fun again, um, or a fun in general, maybe not again. Um, and so something that came up today that I wanted to talk about is this idea of fear and anxiety around not being where you thought you'd be by now or having anxiety or fear around stepping into your future. Um, whether that's a new job or whether that's, um, you know, taking the first step in becoming the person you want to be, um, you know, ha ending relationships or beginning relationships or whatever it is that is your future. And um, so I know a lot of us, you know, I've been in conversation with people have, and even me, have this fear and anxiety about what is coming. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I wanted to, you know, first of all, ask you, what is it, that, what are the things that you feel like you're a little nervous about right now or a little anxious about? And um, we can get the conversation started about that. But, you know, I think it's so funny to, <laughs> that all of us seem to forget one of the most important things in releasing fear and releasing anxiety um, in our lives. And, you know, I have this quote like hanging up on my wall. It's like over here to the right. And it says, when you feel that anxiety, that means you're hitting your fear barrier. And to grow, you must plow through the fear barrier. AKA, if you are feeling that sense of fear, the first thing you need to do is to get into action. If you are feeling that, it means you are not in action. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous that. I'm going to be stuck in this job forever. Likely, you're not doing anything in the moment to get yourself out of the situation. Or, you know, you have gotten yourself into this kind of negative spiral of worry. So, you know, the thing I wanted to talk about in relation to fear and anxiety is that uh, about your future is that there's always things to step into. I like to do an exercise um, with a lot of the people that I work with in different capacities. Um, it's a left page, right page exercise. Um, this is an exercise that you would be able to experience if you join me tomorrow night in South Philly at LA Fitness. I'm gonna be doing a little talk called um, Make Adulting Fun, How Listening to Your Heart Can Change Everything. Um, hey, Christine. <laughs> um, and basically what we do is we figure out what we want to step into and we figure out our excuse. And it's really, really interesting to see, you know, all of the beautiful things that we want to step into, all of the amazing things we put on the one page that says, like, I want to be, you know, a I'm trying to think of something, a physicist. I want to be a phys physicist or I want to be a lawyer or I want to feel confident in my body. I want to start my own business. All of these like really cool stuff, cool things. I want to start a family, like whatever it is for you. And then on the left side, we do, you know, all our yeah buts. So I want to start a family. Yeah, but I don't have, you know, X, Y, and Z, or I can't do this because X, Y, and Z. Um, I want to travel to Germany. Yeah, but the sirens pass. That's a sign. I feel like that's a sign from the universe telling me I should go. <laughs> um, I want to travel to Germany. Yeah, but I don't have enough time in my in my calendar to be able to do that, to be able to go and, and spend time there. And so what we determine is that that whole one page of like all the things that we want to do and we want to become in our future, those are our action steps. Those are the steps to step into our highest calling. So it can be like when you do your list, um, and like I said, if you show up tomorrow um, and LA Fitness, at LA Fitness in South Philly, I'll walk you through how to do this. Um, 
And if you do this whole left page and you write all of these things, it can be stream of consciousness in that um, it can be like, you know, I really want to eat an ice cream sandwich. And then next to it could be like, I really want to have a career change. You know, it can be like some crazy spectrum of things. You know, it can have like really weird things. Like when I first did this exercise, I wrote that I wanted to dance in a park. It was weird. I don't know why. I literally put on one side of the paper that I wanted to intuitively dance in a park. And then on the other side, I put, yeah, but people might think I'm weird. <laughs> right. And I feel like everything on that right or on that page, the yeah, but page, that's the very reason we must do it. Right. Yeah. I want to start a business. Yeah. But, um, you know, what about my children? Well, your children are the very reason you should start your business. Right. So it's almost like these excuses are the very reason that you need to be stepping into your highest calling, into what those action steps are. So, you know, I wanted to share that. I wanted to let you know that I am going to be in South Philly tomorrow night. Um, at, I think it's South 24th Street at LA Fitness. I think South 24th Street is the address. Um, hey, Michelle, you, you're going to be in, I hope you're in South Philly tomorrow. Stop by LA Fitness. Um, so yeah, it's going to be at LA Fitness at six o'clock. I'm going to be doing um, a few different sessions. The first one starts at six and then it's every um, either 15 or 30 minutes. I'm going to be taking a group of people back um, and we're going to be going through how to move forward towards our future um, and let go of all the excuses, let go of all the crap, let go of all the anxiety and just move forward. Because when we move forward, when we take action, all of that fear and anxiety and worry, it just dissipates. I used to have fear and anxiety about not being, not marketing my, myself enough, not putting myself out there enough, not meeting enough people. And as soon as I st started scheduling events on my calendar and saying, hey, you know, I'm going to go hang out with these people and meet new people at this place on this date. And showing, when I showed up to those events, I left feeling like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. I don't, it doesn't even matter that I, you know, if I achieved the goal of marketing myself, whatever that means or not, I just feel better that I'm in action and I'm really taking the steps to build the life that I want to live for myself. So, um, anyway, it's at LA Fitness South Philly at 6 p.m. tomorrow. I will be there. I'm going to have a whole little booth table thing. It's going to have all sorts of little giveaways. I'm going to have a raffle item. So if you want to get in on that, I really recommend that you show up um, for that. It'll be really, really cool. And if you aren't available for that or you're not in Philly and you want to continue the conversation, you want to go through that left side, you know, that one page, left page and right page, how you can step into your highest self and let go of all the fear and all the anxieties and all the worries, then we have got to talk, right? I'd love to walk you through that. I would love to help you step into your highest self. So shoot me a Facebook message or go to my website. Um, if you go to my website and scroll the whole way down, there's a little form you can fill out to schedule a time with me. Um, I'm all yours. I'm here to support you. I absolutely love that you even joined me for this video. Um, and I hope to see you either tomorrow or have a conversation with you soon. All right, I've got to get to work uh, and start winding down to it. I have a few things I want to finish up for tonight, but it's always so great to spend time with you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you next time. Okay.